Yo guys, what is up? Mr. MP Players, guys. And today, guys, I'm going to be showing you how to use your PlayStation 3 controller as an Xbox controller for any of your games. So basically, you can use it for San Andreas, Tony Hawk. Um, but this time, I'm going to use it for Tony Hawk. Alright, so the first thing you guys are going to want to download is DS3 Tools and X Splatter. They're both free. And so let me open up Google really quick and um give me a second here open up Google um I already downloaded them I already downloaded them so I don't have to download them but I'll put the link in the description um on how to put it in okay so basically motion Motion Joy right here and um just download the latest one. Download right here. Downloads. Um just download it and once you're done downloading it, install it and it should come out right here. Okay. And then another program we're gonna need is X Splatter. I mean X Patter. Um X Patter. Let me check it out. Hold up. So, basically what this is going to allow you, DS3 tools, Moja, the motion joy thing, is going to let you convert your PlayStation 3 controller. It's going to emulate an Xbox controller. And then X Splatter is going to gonna put all the keys in. So, X Patter. Patter. And then boom, just down. Oh no, 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 no. You have to pay for this. What I did is I pirated it. I pirated because you have to pay 10 bucks for it. Who wants to pay 10 bucks for a simple, easy little thing? So, so just, um, if you guys haven't seen my other video on how to get free stuff, um, check it out. Um, so basically, I went to X Patter on the party bay and I got this one right here it's only one megabyte so yeah um I guess I'll put it in the description that one if you guys are into that but if you don't just google it and buy it if you want um but I didn't want to buy it so whatever all right so just close that up okay and now what you want to do is you want to open up you want to open up ds3 tools and you want to go to um, driver manager click yes and then driver manager and then go to port load driver and then just let it wait for a bit and then it'll be completed and then go to profiles and then it'll be right here go to x input default 60 um xbox 360 controller and then put enable so then that's done so I'm gonna minimize it and now it's gonna go it's gonna go right here so now I'm gonna go to X pattern and this is like super easy um once you go to X pattern you put start 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 um program location do not associate I really don't care and then um, I'm gonna click new new and you can put a little picture here of a ps3 controller but I'm not gonna do that that takes too much time and so images whatever doesn't really matter sticks push left up and then now that's gonna come out and then the other one left up and then that's it D-pad is enable, and then up, down, left, right. So now you can move these around. And now buttons. Now click all your buttons. So A. It doesn't matter. Um. And then these. Your start button, X, circle, triangle, square, um, 
L3, R3, L1, R1, select and start. And um, so we're going to move this over here. And then we're going to move this over here. It's kind of like a PS3 controller. So kind of this one's this one's square and then this one's L1. So I'm going to move it here and then this one's R1, so I'm going to move it there. And uh this one is here. That's select and that's start and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these in between here to make it just look like a real control um and then triggers basically enable and then hold the left trigger and then hold the right trigger so basically now it's gonna be now it's gonna be start I mean, select, start, push down, L3, R3, analogs, uh, left, right, down, right, up, X, circle, triangle, square, L1, R1, I mean, L1, R1, um, R2, and then R2, and then you press OK, and then you can customize it now, so, I think I'm going to put these as WASD. I'm going to put this one as the mouse. I'm going to put this one as the, no, not the WASD keys, the arrows. And I'm going to put, you can set them up. So, you see, you click on one and it gives you the whole thing. So, hold up, give me a quick second to remember. Okay, this one's going to be 2, this one's going to be mm, 6, this one's going to be 8, this one's going to be 4, this one's going to be enter, you don't have to put out what I'm putting it, but I'm doing this because I'm going to play it for Tony Hawk, and then this one is going to be escape. And this one's gonna be nah this one's gonna be start here this one's gonna be oh this one is probably gonna be no oh my god this one is is it this one I don't know um I think I have one saved already so, um, I don't know. I think that it's in my documents. It should be. Yes, it's right here. This is my other setup one that I had. And so, oh, this is the same one. What the heck? Okay. This one, which is that one is gonna be nine this one is gonna be seven this one is gonna be one as you can see they're all filled up now so I'm gonna save as and then um, I'm gonna save it onto my desktop overwrite and then do not close the programs or else they will not work um, that one's still running in the background, so it's still good. Um, and now, guys, I'm going to show you the game when I'm using it. Okay. Thank you for watching. And yeah. Alright, guys. Now, I'm using the, the controller here. As you can see, it's more faster. So, let's continue with the story mode here. Let me see. Selects enter. So 
continue the story. Um. Thank you guys for watching. That's all you have to do. Um, and that's it. Um, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Like this, like tutorials, and uh, like it up. It really helps me a lot. Favor and um, share it. Yeah. Alright, guys. Thank you for watching.